Hello everyone, this is <coughs> Foxmine Told Wire. I'm bringing you yet another Rome Told War video. And I actually had to write down the names of the participants because it doesn't show who you are. I am a I am playing as a Kyrus. <coughs> a little short history, this is the the nation that the the Pyrus the Great came from who was king over and my allies my dear total war friend Marshal Sloyd um, Sloyd I believe it was he's playing at the, the Britons and he brings a lot of heroic nobles and slingers our enemies let's see who's, yes I wrote down the names J Hall there's a J and a Hall after that. He's playing at the Seleucids, and he got not many, not many pikemen. Uh, <coughs> playing on the Seleucids, and our his ally is Pikachu Potato Two. I would write those down, but nah. I'm gonna keep that off you. So as we started off, <coughs> I'm gonna have to remember <laughs> the. What happened? Because what happened was that uh, previously, I, my recording, my live recording, I usually always do a live recording, simply half the video with just blackness, and then the other half with just like pictures. You know, like okay, for five minutes it showed one picture, and another another one it might show a picture. Like, yeah, oh, I was so angry. But yeah. My allies, Marshal Sloyd, actually pointed out that, hey, there's a lot of stuff in your way. So that held me back a little. Made me move oh, quite slowly. And we also had a little uh, discussion on who should go where. And uh, since I had pikes, the arrangement was that, uh, hey, let me take the uh, little bit more flatter ground, which I did, even though I'd want to start here. Uh, and what happened was that uh, he met the Seleucids. Something happened there. Oh, yeah, Testudo, that's a really good thing to do if you plan to just stay still. Uh, but yeah, what happened was that uh, my. I uh, need some spare mine. I thought that they were the like, pikemen, but my bad. <coughs> that just showed how bad they are from... I don't know. But yeah, he... Um, my other one was Marshall, Marshall Sloyd. Actually, was a little... Um, I probably slaughtered his name, but you know. Yeah. <coughs> he actually like, oh shit! When he realized that uh, he was up against these guys. But as you will see later on, that will not be a problem. But basically what happens is that I just sit here. Because these are traps. Right here. The stretch it from here to there. <coughs> and you will... And uh, what will happen is that I will simply march up here to this side, no further. And we'll send out troops to kind of get his cavalry out. And he's having auxiliary cavalry, and I have one of those Tartanian cavalry, and then the rest. And the best is <laughs> Thessalian cavalry. And I thought that that would be quite good, but it kind of beat it a shit. These two beat the shit out of all these, kinda. Not all of them, but mostly. And uh, here we have some ambushers, some very nicely placed. You can have them very nicely executed forward, too. And uh, the f we already have a lot of casualties on the saluted side. We have some horses running there. Yeah. Yeah, running up the in the ground here. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I would win this because 
as I no think think at least I knew the um, shock cavalry or uh, anti cavalry, but it turned out not to be so very against the uh, the auxiliaries. But I trying to go for everything is trying to harass. Look at that. Look at that. And barely no one died. Like. Five died, everyone fell, but five died. If I have infantry there, that would be the end of it. But yeah, what will happen is that I will just, like... I will try and beat the shit of him here, and then I will <coughs> send most, some of my troops at least to support my ally a little. And uh, as you can see, this is a statue. Kinda. I hope. I think instead of calling it uh, camping, I think we should call it the uh, statue tactic. <laughs> but yeah, I've gone down a little bit though, but not too much. So yeah, I'm just trying to get out of there with my cavalry now and trying to get his out of the way but it turned out to be completely different also brought a ballista that does absolutely nothing although it does have already killed a lot of them I don't know where yeah here we see yeah my ally uh, my ally uh, Pikachu I'm <coughs> sure here brought a lot of uh, good units along with some bad ones, but mostly like Praetorians and uh, Eagle Cohorts. Don't know why they ain't in there long. They're like, fuck it, we don't need shields. Alright. So I was running a skirmishing with my cavalry. And look at that. Yeah, I ran in up here, I'm sorry I had to miss it, but trying, just trying. Yeah, I had a citizen cavalry too in the back, I forgot about that totally, you know, that's something you will see, because I, I am looking here, I am looking over here, and I'm actually looking that he ain't doing anything stupid here. But yeah, I... I'm not. I'm sure about these. That this will kill me, but I'm not sure about what these do. So uh, I'm a little hesitant to move forward, actually. But yeah, well, me and my ally are actually like. Yeah, I'm telling that. Hey, use some. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> use some uh, fire on that on those things. And he said that uh, I don't have any fire. And though it comes down to my Tartanians here, I don't want to miss this actually. I I got a nice close up on this in the live action too. It's got a nice little rare kill about two of them, five, and then boom, they rode right in. <laughs> I actually wonder what it takes to break uh, <coughs> break a pikeman in. Full front forward. You can see here the uh, ambush has got mangled. A nice little heap. Ludus would love that shit. His elephants are back, full strength, and here is happening nothing now except that I'm moving some troops away. And they will see some action. And he is not deciding to counter charge. Remember, most hair is. Good. Ah, broke those. How nice. Um, <coughs> most over here have been like cavalry actions. And, um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty much been that. Now it's just. <coughs> archer action. Archer and slingers. And these guys will be used. A great effect, actually, for my knowledge of uh, these things later on. I don't think I saw this, actually. I think, 
Yeah, I wanna check this. Uh, no, too far. So yeah, I'm placing these guys to actually go around. But my ally, he is. I actually said it is uh, better, better than me, but I'm still better. Uh, okay, here we go. Look at this. Didn't kill many, but you know, the spear versus sword. And yeah, these guys will break, and there they broke. That took up like all of these guys ammo, ammo, almost. But, yeah, he has tries his best to deal with these elephants, and he's doing a good job with these Shoshin, uh, Shoshin spare band. And I am yes, yeah, I had the problem. I just had to um, look out for these. While I maneuvered, and I actually, and I actually had the uh, idea to actually take my entire line and have the flank covered by these, but then I realized that that won't be a good idea because if my flank are here, then the traps are just one time activated, and uh, then my flank would be screwed. And you will see later on when. These guys have been crushed. That I, I am trying very goodly to just redeploy. And here is the last of the, his cavalry. So now is the infantry had to deal with. Uh, see these the archers came in nice little handy there as support troops. So the in it was down to the infantry to deal with the cavalry. Oh yeah. Most of it will happen over here, as yes, you can see. It happened something here. Uh, and I was trying to get around and actually managed here for a short while. Then these guys came and ruined everything. So yeah, we are playing the steer game. And I actually forgot to place these in, uh, in a pike formation, as you saw in the beginning. Oh, that's some slingshots. But uh, yeah, I actually managed to get him down for about, what is it, three minutes ago, I believe. And here you have to decide to actually throw some pillars. No, no these guys aren't, aren't using pillars, they're using javelins. Yeah, javelins. Got some nice flank shots in there. And here my ally said, hey. Take these guys, kill them. So um, that's what I'm doing. And look at that. These guys are not to be fucked with. I actually wonder if if these uh, noble, <coughs> heroic nobles or oaths, oaths, oaths sworn are better. Actually, I I don't know, and I dare not say so. All I know is that. Uh, these guys are quite... no, not those guys. These guys are quite good. But, wait a moment. Lusitania should ha actually have better uh, melee attack. Yeah, Lusitania, I, have, I heard you have the best melee. I don't know what the name is. Here. Name is, but yeah. I don't know how that got here, I probably forgot about it. And here comes with the, where I actually realized that hey, I can march through these without any uh, without any casualties. And then uh, I also sacrificed some of my Creed and archers to get these <coughs> traps out of the way. So now I'm moving up. Finally some action. I don't know why this happened. I actually saw it first now. Uh, <laughs> you have a lot of Terraria as a support unit. I know that this guy might actually throw his pillums and kill a lot. 
but I actually decided that the risk was worth it. And I just love seeing pikemen lowering their pikes. Somewhere over there, soldier. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so what happened was that this unit here actually decided to engage. You can see here. Sorry that you missed it. Actually decided that hey, we're gonna fight these guys, and I then decided that hey, they're riding over there. That <clears throat> and uh, you know what? Let the pikemen deal with it. And then I noticed that. Hold on, this this uh, unit is actually a flank in my pikemen, and that is nothing you really want. I have seen the effect on those, actually, on someone who tries, who actually tries to defeat pikemen in different ways, and getting on the flank is like a death sentence for a pikeman, even though these are Hellenic, Hellenic. But luckily, this guy, come <coughs> Marshal Sloyd comes to the rescue and put a lot of pressure and you can see here that he will <coughs> soon what I'm talk, talking about about moving troops around and everything uh, yeah I move my general up to counter this little flank movement here because I don't really like that but yeah, the, uh, my original plan for this actually was to get the uh, since I took pikemen. That uh, the idea was that I should have my pikemen in the middle, and then my ally should deploy on either side. I have a nice replay of this somewhere. I don't remember the name of it, but if I find it, I can show you. It's pretty nice. It's, uh, it's the same guys, not, it's me and uh, Marshal Sloyd. And he is Seleucid, and I am Rome, and it turns out to be a very good tactic. And here you can see the uh, what I spoke about earlier about moving my lines, so maneuvering my lines, trying to avoid being outflanked. Where I am not new boxing right now, <coughs> even though it is a valuable op option. I also had to get my uh, ally here to actually pull his general out because I don't want him to lose his general now. This guy's got some kills, not many. They are still green, are they? Yeah, no, yellow. I am just running and everything to get my <laughs> pikemen out of harm's way and into a harming way. Normally this is not what you want, but still, since the AI... Yeah, I gotta sacrifice this unit. These were the units that fought over here on the side of the uh, pike unit, by the way. So a small sacrifice, and here comes another small sacrifice. I don't need them anymore, I felt, so... <laughs> to buy a little extra time. So I can get these guys over, by the way. So most of the work was actually done by... Uh, Marshal Sloyd. So here you can see, uh, there's a lot of Brits, and there's a lot of... Uh, solutions. We should say Syrians because I saw a lot of Syrian archers there, but that would be incorrect. Look at that. Torian stands no chance. <laughs> that is not what you want, but that's how my line ended up. Sadly. So yeah, I got got my lines nicely maneuvered, you know. Pretty much uh, you can have flank around me, then, you know. I was a little afraid, actually, that this will co continue like this. Because my ally was moving around the flank, and they were moving the same way, <coughs> the same way around, and I keep moving my 
pikemen around. As you see, these guys actually haven't got any much <coughs> much action, but they still got some kills. And here are some druid no druid nobles. I should never seen those. Um, but yeah, most <coughs> are done. Most fighting here is done by uh, Marshall. I think they're gonna call him that. So yeah, J Hall over here died <coughs> died pretty quick, and uh, me and uh, Pikachu <coughs> actually kind of stared it out, you know, wishing that either of <coughs> either ally had actually broke through, and that's what happened. My guy broke through, luckily at first. Both supported on each other, and so I supported mine a little earlier. But he supported this in kinda in the end they tried to save it when it all was going to do shit, but you know, better late than never. And here we have me trying to flank around, or actually get in the rear and we'll get a nice kill. This guy concerned me, but not enough that uh, I would not commit my line in this way. Keep an order on everything. These guys were actually looking the wrong way for a while. And I don't know how you forgot this unit. I am, I am missed this now too, and twice. You know. And here we go. They are dying. One. Principles. Hmm. And. Actually, most of my units here are green. You know, you know the scale of red, yellow, green. All of my units are green. These guys will just stand there until we beat the shit of them. And I, I told to my ally that, you know, the honor is yours, and because I felt that he he done most of the job over over here and then I actually managed to flank around and kill many of them or actually at least clean them up sure I kill a lot of them too but not as many as I wish to and some skirmishers and some horses I actually think I lost more over here than I did than uh, he did but then again he lost the whole unit to some slingers so I'm gonna deploy nice and tight this is actually how you want a pike formation, but, you know... I should tell him that, you know, maybe you wanna flank around it. And he was also very surprised over how... Well, how he could forgot one of these units, you know, they are so essential, they're such a key unit. Yeah, but when you have many of them, remember, he had like a few of these, like four... Four or five? I don't know. You know, then you can actually forget one of those, one of them. And here we go, finally. Maybe a pillum? Nope. No pillum. There we run quite quick, actually. Then let's see how it takes. There we go. And that's a costly victory. I actually don't know if the... Uh, you know, let's see if the results are shown. Yes, they are. <coughs> so yeah, let me just check here. Yeah, all my units agree. My Pikesman didn't get so many kills as this one did. Need so yeah, now it's just me, no background music. Awkward situation. Uh, no kills at all, almost, holy shit. Uh, yeah, he had a lot of units. Let's see how many Praetorians we had now. See, there's the... You have got the... Uh, one, two, three, four. And that's the one who ran away. I don't know which one this is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. I most certainly did. Um, my ally, 
Marshall Sloyd. Actually, here is Jin. <coughs> here is it all. I didn't have to write it up, but you know, safety reason. So yeah, I I hope you all enjoyed. I most certainly did, and so did Marshall. Marshall, I call him Marshall all the time. <coughs> but yeah, hope you enjoyed. We more, we more certainly did. See you in the next battle. Hopefully we'll be victorious then too.